Hello there Capricorns, welcome to your reading. First of all, when I was shuffling out this spread, what I felt was um, I see somebody wearing like, um, well, on a, on a platform, on a stage, and sort of like, you know, performing or doing some type of um, a, a dancing routine. And I feel like the person has short hair. Uh, it, it looks almost like a, a, um, a bob. It looks like a bob haircut and um, they're holding a baton and they're performing and I feel like you know there's a round of applause so it seems as if this is going to be a really bouncy type of a, a week for you where your skills are on display and you're going to be receiving quite a lot of recognition and I also feel like you know this this thing about a round of applause okay um, so I feel like, yeah, it's going to be a really, really good uh, week for you to showcase your talent. Um, what I'm feeling with this spread is um, I'm sensing that many of you, like, I don't know what happened over the weekend, if there has been some uh, disappointment and things like that. Um, it's going to be rectified and it's going to be fixed. And I feel like, you know, either way, you're going to move on from it. I feel like you might have been dealing with somebody who was quite flaky. And uh, if this is a love interest, I'm sensing that, you know, they, they, they were like uh, giving you mixed messages. They were a little bit blowing hot and cold. And also I'm feeling like, you know, they make plans and then they don't follow through with them. And you are somebody that gives people the benefit of the doubt. So I feel like if somebody, you know, is not able to uh, go through with a plan, they will give you a reason and you're like, okay, let's try it again another time. But I feel like this person, either didn't even bother to give you an excuse or they just um, it's just like a, a repeating pattern where over and over and over again you realize that they are not keeping to their words and that they're not able to follow through and I feel like you know you're not going to waste your time and you're going to be moving forward so I feel like that's the majority of those who have recently started dating talking to new people who are still, you know, in that stage where it's still the beginning and you are still considered single. And so you're not giving somebody the time of day, you're moving on to somebody who's a lot more stable. I'm also sensing as well, there might have been some troubling news, like having to be the, um, the shoulder to lean on, the shoulder to cry on, or the ears to vent to, um, having to play kind of... Um, caretaker or um, just a listener to your relationship partner so I feel like your relationship partner might have been feeling or might have been dealing with a situation where they were very frustrated they're frustrated about things not getting off the ground in some way it could be with family members it could also be in the work front they're really frustrated and they're like venting and and you know sometimes we need to talk but this person, I feel like, is very upset about something. And they're coming to you. And it, I feel like for many of you, it's a relationship partner. And uh, they just need to vent. So there was like a vent sesh. And, and I feel like it's going to continue on through this week. And you're going to be kind of like the um, the shoulder for them to, to, to lean on. And I feel like the fact that you're emotionally available to them makes it so that they appreciate your presence that much more okay i feel like this person is dealing with some serious things like some type of injustice some type of situation where they're um it's almost like they're losing faith in humanity it's like a major major crisis uh, i don't see it's financial in nature i feel like it's more emotional and it's more work related and uh, there's something here about the bigger picture about you know how you're on stage and you can look at all the people in the audience so it's almost like you have a higher vantage point you understand people's motives you understand who is applauding for you who's not so i feel like you're seeing the situation from a very understanding perspective and you're able to bring that to the relationship partner who is seeing it in a little bit more of a narrower perspective because they're so emotionally worked up or rattled. So you're able to kind of ease the situation or allow them to see a situation from a, a higher vantage point. 
So I feel like you're allowing them to vent, but at the same time, you're you're giving them little bits and snippets of truths or of um, insights that you're able to glean from this situation because you're not so personally and emotionally involved in it, okay? Whatever funk they're dealing with, they're gonna snap out of it. And I feel like, you know, uh, early on in the week, things will be okay and they're going to be back to their bouncy, happy self. So I feel like it's just a, a temporary roadblock and I don't feel it affecting your relationship. I just feel like you're playing um you're you're really trying to cheer this person up, okay? So you might say you might make jokes, you might, you know, use your sarcasm, your humor in order to uplift this person. For some of you, it could also be like a child who's dealing with some things at school and you're also uplifting this child. So I see a relationship partner or a child. Um, I see you dealing with a lot of, um, so it, it, I don't feel like it's going to be a busy week, but there are a lot of communication coming through. Um, uh, what I'm seeing is a lot of back and forth communication. Can you help me do this? Can you help me with that? Uh, what's the solution to this? What's the outcome for that? Like a lot of people are asking you um, for data, for information. So I don't know if there are a lot of people here that are in the IT industry, but I'm seeing codes, like lines of codes. And I'm seeing people like messaging you, Skyping you, emailing you, needing to fix their computer issues because we are heavily in the mercury retrograde uh, cycle where you know electronics tend to malfunction and for whatever reason you guys are also um it, it's funny because i've noticed that um electronics don't really malfunction around earth signs often as often as it does with like air signs and i feel a lot of it has to do with your sense of groundedness and um i don't know it it might be something that you might want to um you know, observe and see, but I feel like you guys are really good at troubleshooting. And I feel like even if you're not in the IT field, you might already know how to do certain things. So you're very good at troubleshooting. And I feel like you know how to get to the fastest solution. So I feel like people are, are just kind of like bombarding you with all of these requests. And keep in mind, like I said, it doesn't feel to me like it's a busy week. So I feel like it's within your right to say, oh, I'm busy. It's within your right to say, you know, I have my own things I'm taking care of. And so I feel like it might not be your primary function to troubleshoot for other people, but either way they're coming to you because they, they need data. So I'm seeing a lot of raw data, a lot of numbers, a lot of codes, a lot of technical information that uh, other people are, are um, asking you for. So for those of you who are employed, that's what I'm seeing, um, sending things through electronic channels. And I'm seeing a lot of it, okay? Like large quantities, large databases, manipulating databases, compiling databases, um, extracting information from one database to um, bring it to another, like spreadsheet, for example. And then I'm also seeing condensing, copying and pasting things. So, you know, that's obviously on the more mundane front, but that's what I'm seeing. Um, it's not, once again, I keep having to reiterate, it's not going to be a busy week. You're getting things done. And I feel like you have a little bit of a pep in your step, like a little skip in your step. So you're definitely able to manage all your responsibilities with some time left over to check on you know neighbors to check on other people see how they're doing and and things like that so when i mention your talent's going to be showcased i feel like there's something that you do really well and people are recognizing you for it hence all the communication so you might you know have like a reputation for getting a lot of your work done ahead of other people like you're 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 fast you're uh, efficient and so your workflow is um it's just it's very efficient is, is what i'm seeing and so you have a lot of time left over and people are going to take note of this and not that they're going to give you more responsibilities i don't sense that but they're going to be like wow uh you know the capricorn is really efficient 
maybe they'll get a bonus maybe they'll get a raise maybe we should consider them for you know a higher position with more responsibilities because they're able to handle their existing responsibilities without a problem and so while everyone around you is like dealing with this heavy mercury retrograde energy where they're scrambling things going wrong and they don't know how to fix things you're kind of coasting through it i'm seeing this imagery of um um it's almost like that Moses story where you know he's leading the people through the ocean and the water parted ways to make room for him to cross so that's what it feels like to me it's almost like this mercury retrograde energy is not going to affect you you're coasting through it's almost like you have this divine protection um, around you and negativity will kind of part itself you know when they come head to head with you and they'll bounce away from you so I, I feel like it's a very strong protection energy um, just be careful about speeding be careful about going way too fast especially if you're not late just um, you know the the protection I, I feel is is there but we also have free will so make sure your free will and your judgment doesn't override whatever protection you feel like you're getting okay um, so that's what I'm sensing um, for those of you who are performers in particular if you are performing in any capacity I definitely see like endorsements is what I'm seeing um, maybe you're a dancer and somebody's all like um, do you want to endorse our product I see like it might be um, some type of an outerwear you know like can you wear this on your next performance um, it could also be um, electronic deals like electronic endorsements um, clothing endorsements um, endorsing a brand and endorsing even like certain foods is what I'm sensing as well shoes like accessories shoes clothing apparel and also some type of um, some type of a brand so if you you're you're getting a lot of recognition and um, I, I definitely feel like many of you are um, for whatever reason this this message came out you're not mixing business with pleasure so that means per, when you're at work you're very very stoic you're self-sufficient capable and you don't uh, blur the lines with co-workers so that means you know even if you're attracted to somebody you act in a very professional way even if you're very close to even like a supervisor you don't use per profanity or you don't ever blur the line so when you're at work your mind is on work mode so you're just seen as someone who's very professional and then you keep your private life quite private and I feel like a lot of people respect that so brands and people asking for endorsements they respect the fact that you're very very private and you're also very professional and they want you specifically because of the professional image that you have always maintained that you have always um, you know exude and so that's why I feel like they're very very drawn to you um, I'm also seeing like co-workers and higher ups really respecting your contribution in the workplace so I'm seeing you getting a lot of recognition um, it's the end of the year and you know we have bonuses we also have like um, achievement dinners and um, possibly even award ceremony so I feel like many of you um, I feel like you're 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 going to be um, you're going to be nominated for something is what I'm sensing like nominated for an achievement award nominated for something big okay like for your accomplishments so I feel like everything that you have worked hard for this year Capricorn everything that you have worked really really hard for and when you put your mind to something I feel like you guys rarely fail so for those of you who have worked really hard and you're just like I'm proud of all the work I achieved this year not only are you going to be feeling proud you're getting external validation for all the work that you've done okay so people are really appreciative of you um, so majority of you I would say about like more than well I would say like 70% 
um, have worked really, really hard this year. This has not been an easy year for you. Saturn's in your sign and Saturn forces you to grow up. It forces you to make sacrifices. It forces you to have like a laser like focus to your purpose, to the things that you do and to not detract from your plan. So it has been a kick butt type of a year and it, it, it hasn't been easy and it's going to stay for another year and a half. So I feel like, you know, it, it's really tested you and you're coming out on top. Many of you are coming out on top. Okay. Finances looks really good. You're kind of like patting yourself on the back. And although you won't admit this to other people because you're quite humble and modest, you can't help but feel like I've achieved a lot this year. And I feel like it, it's showing up in the cards. Okay. You're like, um, either in the morning you're brushing your teeth or something you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're just like there's a, a little bit of a smile because you're aware that you have achieved a lot that you have outdone yourself that you have worked really hard to get where you are and that you have done everything to the best of your capabilities that you can sleep well at night knowing that there's n nothing else i could have done i did everything to the best of my capabilities i have no regrets and i can sweet sleep well at night uh, for others and i would say about that 30 percent yes there has been setback yes saturn has been brutal very brutal and um but it, it brought this sense of awakening within you it brought this sense of what i'm feeling is um I'm meant for more. I'm settling. And um, I'm seeing this image of um, of this plant. And it, it's in a pot. It's in like a, a pot. It's a big plant. It's in a pot. And it's kind of the roots are like breaking through and puncturing through the pot. So it's, it's almost like where you are right now, you're meant for a lot more. And you are coming into that sense of awareness. If I stay in this pot, my my uh, my um, roots are gonna just you know puncture through, and it's gonna destroy the pot. So I feel like you're bored. Some of you are bored, and you need something new. You need more stimulation. You need something more to learn. You need like a new environment because this is not working for you anymore. And you're going to go out and find it. And I feel like maybe not this month, maybe not this week. I'm seeing nine weeks. So this might be, you know, January actually, or, um, you know, it, it, it might be February. So we are in, so we're in this, the first, no, second week of December. So nine weeks from now, it, it will emerge for you a new opportunity that is more in alignment with where you're meant to be, that will give you more room to grow and thrive and, you know, showcase your talents. So I feel like it's going to come back around full circle. So I feel like the, the Saturn transit has really made you see that I'm keeping myself stagnant. I thought I was uh, happy here or comfortable here. I thought this is all that I could, you know, achieve, conceivably achieve, but I'm meant for a lot more. And I'm also seeing many of you at this point, um, sending out, you know, thinking about new change sending out resumes, communicating with people, um, possibly um, fixing your resumes and getting into contact with people, uh, networking as well is what I'm seeing, like heavy networking. And um, I feel like everything that you're doing, even if you're helping other people, it has a, a purpose. It has an, a, um, I don't want to say agenda, but I'm hearing the word agenda. So it's almost like, for example, um, let's say you do IT and then your, your, your boss's boss asks you, Hey, Capricorn, can you come and fix my computer? And while you're fixing the computer, you're going to ask your boss's boss, Hey, are there like any new positions that you're aware of? So it's sort of like that, um, networking in a very, uh, casual way. Okay. It's not like going to, uh, an event and, um, putting yourself in front of somebody who is, a major player. No, you're not doing that. And you, you guys are not opportunistic like that. Okay. 
Um, but I feel like it's done in a very casual way. It just happened to be the right place at the right time with the right people and with somebody who's easy to talk to. And then one thing leads to the next. And, you know, before they, you know it, they are like, you should apply for this position. So I see like some major, major strides being taken to advance or move your career forward. But I definitely see you fixing up the resume and uh, putting yourself out there via your resume. Um, getting letters of recommendations as well. Um, they're saying try to get letter re letters of recommendations, try to get them now, sooner rather than later, even though it's Mercury retrograde, I said like it's like the parting of the seas. So you're not going to be affected by it, okay? And people usually take a few days anyway. So if this is on the 3rd, by the 5th or the 6th, they should have it done. And by that time, we're clear of the retrograde energy. Make sure you proofread for error and it should be fine because intentions are still very solid. And, and I feel like, you know, they, they have your best interests at heart. Um, let me see what else I'm picking up here. I see a lot of beautiful imagery for you. Like it's very soothing. Um, the the person performing on stage, and then the other image of this uh, this potted plant. Even though it's like you know breaking free from the the pot, it, it's like really really growing very fast. And it's realizing as well that you know I need more soil. I need more more land. I need more things, or, or I need like a new uh, environment. So there's definitely something about wanting a change. Um, I'm seeing here shifting from a very flaky relationship partner. Um, for those of you who are dating to somebody who's a lot more solid. Okay. So that's always good, a good thing. Um, I'm also seeing as well. Let me see what kind of a sign I'm picking up here. I'm seeing you, you know, um, like you, you mind your own business. You don't, you know, gossip about people. You let people be. And I feel like because of that, a lot of people come to you with their problems because you're very, very uh, impartial. You have your likes and dislikes, but you don't go around, you know, gossiping. And, and because of that, people find that you're very trustworthy, very reliable, very stable, and they know that if they tell you something, you're going to carry it with you to your grave. And it's just because that's the person that you are. You don't sit there and stir the pot and create conflict between people and, you know, exaggerate and uh, spread rumors. So I feel like lots of people will be coming to you, uh, not only with technical things, but also like with, you know, personal things. And you're putting the pieces in place for everybody else. So I feel like you're helping people fix things in their professional life, but also in their personal life. I'm also seeing you as well doing a lot of cooking for some reason, doing a lot of cooking this week, um, stirring the pot, but not like in a way where it's, um, I feel like it's literally stirring the pot. Okay, and it's a big pot. And um, it's what I'm getting here. The words are stirring the pot, but this is not like, you know, uh, adding fuel to a fire, exacerbating a situation. This is more just, you know, taking care of people, taking care of things, trying different recipes, um, as well as making sure people are comfortable and well fed. And so I definitely see the ability to make things like to be very resourceful with the um all the the things that are available to you i feel like there's a new person in your love life for those who are like dating um there's somebody that is that was well that is very immature you're leaving behind and you're moving forward with somebody that is a lot more clear with their intention. I feel like it could be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And I feel like this person, um, I, I feel like there's a connection here with this person. And it's a friendship connection. It seems to me to, like two people who really like each other, you know? 
like you you like the same things you might have uh, similar goals similar values so even though they're an air sign which is not you know usually compatible with earth but you guys have similar values and i feel like you're working to build upon this relationship there's a lot of attraction i feel like the the chemistry is not just physical chemistry where you know you're just like i have to have that person i feel like it's a little bit more subtle it's it's not so jarring and in your face but it's definitely there it's like you spark off each other really well one person makes a a, a smart remark the other person has a smart comeback so it, it's like it's somebody that you you see yourself constantly communicating with and you don't get bored with each other's energies so that is all that i have for you capricorns it's going to be such a good week and you guys deserve it so best of luck with everything and i'll talk to you guys soon take care